The first is oneness in the being of Allah. This is what Allah clearly announces in Surah Al-Ikhlas. The four verses of Surah Al-Ikhlas, Allah says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَقُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدْ Say, He is Allah, one and only one. Allah, the eternal absolute. He begets not, nor is he begotten. And there is none like unto him. This is actually the belief in oneness of being of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qul huwa Allahu ahad is actually the oneness in being. What does it actually mean? That there is, there has to be no partners to Allah. The basic concept of this monotheism in being is that the person would believe that Allah has no partners, no wives, no helpers. He doesn't have a spouse, a wife, no offsprings, sons or daughters. So, when somebody starts associating the creations of Allah or the creator with him, like worshipping the moon, the sun and the stars, like the people during the prophethood of Asad Ibrahim salam, they had a huge Nanar God, the God of the moon. They had a huge Shamas God, the God of the sun, the sun God. And they used to worship the stars. Then people worshipping idols made of wood or idols made of idols made of stone like the people of Mecca they had they had 360 idols placed in Hainakaba so this was what then worshipping trees worshipping fire the fire worshippers like the people in Persia so this is all associating the creations of Allah with his with the creator and then the belief of certain followers of the prophets like the Jews or the Christians that their prophets were the sons of Allah or they were a part of Allah. As Allah mentions in Surah Tawbah, verse number 30, وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ وَزَيْرِ بْنُ اللَّهِ وَقَالَتِ النَّسَارُ وَقَالَتِ النَّسَارُ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ قَوْلُهُمْ بِأَفْوَاحِهِمْ the Jews say that Uzair is a son of Allah and the Christians say that Christ is a son of Allah. This is a saying which just they are saying and they, they imitate what the unbelievers of the old period used to do and Allah curse, Allah's curse be on them, how they are deluded away from the truth. So the concept of the Christian community in saying Isa ibn Allah that Hazrat Isa alayhi salam na'uzu billah summa na'uzu billah min zalik was the son of Allah or the concept of trinity, concept of three gods and the Jews saying Uzair ibn Allah that Hazrat Uzair razi Allah ta'ala anhu was the son of God or like the Makkans they used to believe that the angels are the daughters of Allah as Allah says in the verse 100 of Surah Al-Anam, Allah says, وَجَعَلُوا لِلَّهِ شُرَقَاءَ الْجِنِّ وَخَلَكَهُمْ وَخَرَكُوا لَهُ بَنِينَ وَبَنَاتٍ بِغَيْرِ إِلْمٍ سُحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَىٰ عَمَّا يَثِفُونَ They make the jinns equal with Allah and though Allah has created the jinns and they falsely have no knowledge, attribute to him sons and daughters Praise and glory be to him, for he is above what they attribute to him. Then making humans or making the creations of Allah as a part of Allah. Allah says in Surah Az-Zuhruf, verse number 15, They attribute to some of his servants as a share with him. Truly is man clearly unthankful. So I repeat now, if I sum up, what is 
the faith in oneness of Allah is to think never, never, ever to associate the creations with Allah. Creations being associated with Allah will be polytheism. And then thinking that the angels are the daughters of Allah will be polytheism. And then thinking that the prophets are the sons of Allah or a part of Allah will be polytheism in the in being with Allah. The second the second aspect of oneness of Allah is oneness in worships of Allah. <laughs> 